chosen me. the food. A low-fat soup. This is fish stew. This fish is a stew. stew. Well, whatever you fucking want to call it, Gordon. Right, the thing about making this... Yes. ..is that you make the fish stock uh, the day before, which you get the fish munger to cut the fish uh, into fillets and remove all the bones, and you've just got to get a carrier bag full of bones. Right, it sounds a bit chefy, that, you know that? Gordon, it's practical. So you make the fish stock the day before by using uh, onions, you sweat onions, celery, yep. maybe a bit of carrot, lots uh -huh. of herbs, thyme and so on, in a massive pan, the biggest pan you possibly can, right. and some white wine. Am I, are you agreeing with this or just I'm rebelling just in the background? I'm anyway. missing but not getting very excited. <laughs> So, Jan is making a fish stew, and I'm doing something sort of almost like a little classic bouillabaisse, but a very quick bouillabaisse, because we haven't got time to do a long-winded, three-and-a-half, four-hour classic French bouillabaisse. So, it's a very simple fish stew, but done with red mullet, fennel, carrots, shallots. I touched it with white wine, but the secret ingredient today, of course, is the perno. And that goes brilliantly perno. with the fish. Just like the good old days when you used to have the perno and black. You got no idea the hard time I got after losing against the challenge you last time. You know that. What happened? Did you get your leg pulled down the pub? I mean, no. We're just in the kitchen. They're saying, "Fucking hell, chef! You lost to Janet Street Porter." You're beaten by a woman who will not put up with fancy food, oh, things in me. piles, no, but unnecessary seriously. sauces. Uh, do you know on the last challenge I actually let you win? You know that. Huh? Gordon, that is utter and bollocks. I'm, I'm, you tried your hardest. Over. <laughs> Janet, you're right, my darling. Yeah, I just had a slight disaster. It's all right. Okay. Fish straight in, and I mean really straight in. Guts have been taken out, and straight in. Look at that. Then with the pans, what I'm going to do now is just glaze the pan with a touch of perno now, and white wine. What I'm going to do. So we get all that flavour from the bottom of the pan. It's straight off this fish In my stock. soup. Look, wash out the pan. In she goes. And then... In there again. Nice. Um, no, if you've got fish heads there, or prawn heads, can I have oh. them? I'm going to put them in my soup. Mm, no, I'm not giving them to you. No. <laughs> Fuck off. You shellfish bitch. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's fucking out of order. I'm sorry, because you asked me for my head, then I'll I give have it to not you. shot these vegetables as fine as I would have done. Because oh, if I wasn't being finished, filmed on fucking national television, <laughs> I would have whacked them all in the blender. And that's a bit of a top tip for all the sluts at home. You know, we can't chop <laughs> as small as, you know, supersonic Gordon. I'm now putting my fish in. OK, good. How long will the fish take to cook? Well, I'm going to put in first the scallops, because they're the thickest. I like these recipes, you know that? Huh? This is such a simple recipe. I think putting the saffron in is key because the saffron colours the potatoes. They look fantastic. Yeah. So I'm going to put my little bits of fish in a pan, and unlike Janet, I'm going to cook them separately, OK? Because they cook very, very quickly because they're small little bits of fish. Are you in favour of my cookbook, MSD? What, to make people send in useless cookbooks? Yeah, unwanted cookbooks that well, they haven't Well, you know, used. the sad thing is, and you're, yes. you, you've done, said a lot about this, that people in Britain buy cookery books yeah. but don't cook. Yeah. It's like porn. They just go to bed every night. Instead of having a shag, they read a cookery book. <laughs> They it's cook... true, it's cook... I call it cookery porn. They cook... They cook... Yeah, they cook I mean, for my cookies. I hope it doesn't go on in your household. <laughs>